Imagine a small metallic emissary, no larger than a car, racing through the silent emptiness of space. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, was meant for a five-year mission, yet it's still going strong nearly 50 years later. More than a machine, it's our silent ambassador carrying the sights and sounds of Earth. Its path was a dance with gravity, using the gas giants to slingshot deeper into space. Now Voyager 1 is over 16 billion miles from Earth, so far that light takes more than a day to reach it. A lonely sentinel, it carries the memory of its home as it sails through the interstellar dark. Voyager 1 is a symbol of humanity's reach for the cosmos, carrying the story of us all. The Voyager mission was born from a rare cosmic opportunity, a planetary alignment that happens only once every 176 years. This alignment allowed a single spacecraft to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune in one grand tour. NASA designed twin probes, Voyager 1 and 2, to seize this chance. Voyager 1's trajectory was optimized for close flybys of Jupiter and Saturn, packed with cameras, spectrometers, and magnetometers. The launch was critical. Voyager 1 lifted off on September 5, 1977, overtaking its sibling, Voyager 2, to reach Jupiter first. The spacecraft navigated the asteroid belt unscathed thanks to careful planning. Gravity assists from the giant planets acted as cosmic slingshots, accelerating Voyager 1 toward its next targets. This maneuver saved fuel and years of travel, making the grand tour possible. Without these gravity assists, the mission would have been impossible. The grand tour was a masterpiece of orbital mechanics and human ambition. Voyager 1 was on its way to rewrite the textbooks. In 1979, Voyager 1 reached Jupiter, transforming it from a fuzzy disk into a world of swirling storms and vibrant colors. The spacecraft's cameras revealed the Great Red Spot and Jupiter's violent weather in stunning detail. Voyager 1 discovered Jupiter's faint ring and measured its immense magnetic field, uncovering a miniature solar system governed by gravity and magnetism. The most startling discovery came from Io, Jupiter's innermost large moon. Instead of a cratered wasteland, Voyager 1 found a world alive with volcanoes, plumes erupting hundreds of miles into space. Io is the most volcanically active body in the solar system, reshaped by Jupiter's gravitational pull. In just months, Voyager 1 taught us more about Jupiter than centuries of observation from Earth. It revealed the biggest planet, the most powerful magnetic field, and the most violent storms. The data laid the foundation for future missions like Galileo and Juno. After its flyby, Jupiter's gravity flung Voyager 1 toward Saturn. Each encounter deepened our understanding of the solar system. Voyager 1 was now a veteran traveler heading for the ringed planet. In November 1980, Voyager 1 arrived at Saturn, revealing the planet's rings as thousands of individual ringlets, far more intricate than anyone imagined. The spacecraft discovered dynamic features like spokes in the rings and several new moons, including shepherd moons that keep the ring's edges sharp. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, was a key target. Voyager 1's instruments pierced Titan's thick hazy atmosphere, confirming it's mostly nitrogen with methane and organic molecules, hinting at complex chemistry. To get a close look at Titan, Voyager 1 used Saturn's gravity to fling itself out of the plane of the planets, ending its chance to visit Uranus and Neptune. That part of the grand tour was left to Voyager 2. With its planetary encounters complete, Voyager 1's new mission began, a one-way journey out of the solar system. The spacecraft was now heading for the stars, its cameras capturing the last close-ups of the outer planets. Saturn's beauty and mystery were revealed in ways never before possible. Voyager 1's discoveries at Saturn changed our understanding of ringed worlds forever. Its mission was now interstellar. The journey into the unknown had begun. Voyager 1 was leaving the planets behind. As Voyager 1 left the planets, Carl Sagan requested one final look back. On February 14, 1990, Voyager 1 captured a mosaic of the solar system, including a tiny speck Earth. This pale blue dot image became iconic, showing our planet as a single pixel suspended in a sunbeam. Sagan reflected that every human who ever lived existed on that mode of dust. The image is a lesson in humility, underscoring our fragility in the vast cosmos. Taking the photo was risky. Earth was close to the sun from Voyager's perspective, threatening the camera's optics. The result was grainy but its value was in perspective, not detail. After this, Voyager 1's cameras were powered down forever to conserve energy. The spacecraft was now flying blind but not mute, 
its mission shifted to interstellar science, venturing into unexplored territory at the edge of the sun's influence. The pale blue dot was Voyager's final look back, before facing the great unknown. It became a scout, exploring the frontier beyond the planets. The image endures as a reminder of our place in the universe. After leaving the planets, Voyager 1 sailed through the heliosphere, a bubble of space dominated by the sun's solar wind. Scientists watched for signs of the boundary, the heliopause, where the solar wind meets interstellar space. For decades, Voyager's instruments measured the solar wind and cosmic rays, searching for the edge. In 2012, Voyager 1 recorded a dramatic change. Solar particles dropped, and galactic cosmic rays surged. Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause, becoming the first human-made object in interstellar space. This was a monumental achievement, a new chapter in exploration. Now Voyager 1 samples the material between the stars, measuring interstellar plasma, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. The data is priceless, giving us our first direct look at the environment beyond our solar bubble. Voyager 1 is our first outpost in the galaxy, providing ground truth data from the space between stars. Its journey continues, sending back information no other probe has ever gathered. The spacecraft's endurance is a triumph of engineering and vision. Voyager 1's crossing into interstellar space is a milestone for humanity. It is now a true interstellar probe. The frontier is open. Attached to Voyager 1 is a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc, the golden record. It's a time capsule, carrying sounds and images to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. The chances of it being found are tiny, but its creation was an act of hope. The record includes 115 images, greetings in 55 languages, and sounds from nature, wind, rain, birdsong, and a mother's kiss. Music from Bach, Beethoven, Stravinsky, and Chuck Berry, as well as songs from around the world, showcase human creativity. The record is a cultural snapshot, a statement of who we are and who we aspire to be. Its aluminum cover includes diagrams showing how to play it and the location of our sun relative to nearby pulsars, a cosmic map. The golden record could last a billion years in interstellar space. Long after Earth is gone it may be the only evidence we ever existed. It's a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean. Voyager 1 carries our greeting to the stars. The record is a testament to our desire to connect. It is humanity's introduction to the galaxy. Even in 2025, Voyager 1 continues to communicate with Earth, powered by a slowly fading nuclear battery. Each year, its power drops, forcing engineers to turn off instruments to keep it alive. Its transmitter is as weak as a refrigerator light bulb, yet its signal, faint beyond imagination, is still detected by NASA's Deep Space Network. In 2023, Voyager 1 sent back gibberish due to a faulty memory chip. After months of troubleshooting, engineers devised a way to bypass the chip, restoring communication. This resilience is a testament to both the machine and its creators. The end is inevitable. By 2036, Voyager 1 will likely fall silent as its power runs out. It will continue its journey through the Milky Way, a silent ghost ship. For now, each bit of data is a precious gift a final report from the frontier. We listen for as long as we can, cherishing every whisper from the void. Voyager 1's voice is fading but its legacy endures. It will drift through the galaxy carrying our story. The conversation may end but the journey continues. Voyager 1's legacy is immense. It transformed our view of the solar system and gave us our first taste of interstellar space. It revealed Jupiter's storms, Saturn's rings, Io's volcanoes, and the humbling pale blue dot. It became the first human-made object to enter the space between the stars. Voyager 1 has traveled farther and lasted longer than anyone imagined. In 40,000 years it will pass near another star, long after its power is gone. Its journey is a stark reminder of the vastness of space and time. Voyager paved the way for missions like New Horizons and future interstellar probes. Its data helps design the next generation of explorers, perhaps using solar sails or fusion rockets. Voyager 1's story is about reaching out, daring to send a piece of ourselves into the cosmic ocean. The spacecraft will outlive us all, wandering the galaxy for billions of years. It carries the golden record, a silent testament to a world that once was. As we plan new missions to the Moon, Mars and beyond we must ask, what message will we carry to the stars? Voyager 1 reminds us to look up, wonder and keep exploring.